Now, a wild elephant in Kerala's Palakkad district has killed two people and destroyed tracts of paddy fields in Doni. A small village in Palakkad is what we know so far. Now, the elephant has again come back to the human settlements and people are living under constant fear in the region. So, elephant tramples two people to death. And this uh, was reported from Palakkad. But for more on this, let me cut across to my colleague Vivek, who's joining us live on the broadcast. Vivek, good evening. Talk to us more about this particular incident, which um, where we're picking up that two people have died. But also talk to us about this particular region where this incident happened. Um, is this a particular area where we see such incidents happening frequently? Indeed, a region where such incidents has been uh, happening uh, frequently. This particular elephant, wild elephant, uh, you know, which is named as PT7, has been, uh, you know, uh, creating havoc in that particular area. Two people have been killed by this particular elephant uh, in the last one month. Remember, this has happened in a, in a small village called Doni in Palakkad district. Remember, such incidents are now uh, recurring not just in Palakkad, but also in Vainad, Idiki, Patanandita, and also in Kanur. Now, wildlife officials say that, uh, you know, in the Arlam farm, uh, there are at least 10 such elephants which have already started uh, prowling and causing huge concern uh, for people, especially who are living in the fringes of forest regions. This, remember, this man-animal conflict has become a critical issue as far as Kerala is concerned for the last one month because uh, there has been several such incidents that's been reporting where uh, elephants, wild elephants and even tigers are, uh, you know, uh, coming outside uh, their habitual region and, uh, you know, in, uh, coming and uh, entering into the human settlement area. Remember, 27% of the state uh, total area is thick forest and uh, the other 30% is basically uh, Western Guard region. And hence, uh, in these areas, there are very good chances that wild animals' presence uh, are very, very high. Now, this has been taken note by the Forest Department and the Forest Ministry has now intervened in this. There has been long discussions that's been happening on this particular issue. Now, uh, Forest Minister A.K. Shashindran, who spoke to the media, said that they are also planning to approach the Supreme Court to, uh, you know, for uh, requesting the court to introduce a law here, uh, uh, you know, on... Uh, you know, the, on reducing the number of uh, wild animals, because especially remember in, uh, uh, you know, the Supreme Court earlier in an order has uh, stayed uh, the West Bengal government's uh, decision uh, to basically bring in a norm uh, where, uh, you know, the, the population of wild animals uh, should be uh, controlled and hence uh, a controlling mechanism should be introduced. But uh, at that point of time, an NGO had filed a petition against that and the Supreme Court has stayed it. But against it six state governments had approached uh, saying that uh, this has become a major issue because this uh, increasing of wild animals especially in forest region uh, which is adjacent to uh, human settlements cause huge concern for people uh, because there are chances that these uh, animals uh, could enter into the uh, human settlement areas and cause danger not just for life but also for huge tracts of agricultural land the same thing has been happening in Kerala and the Kerala Forest Department has now decided to approach the Supreme Court and also before that, uh, you know, they'll be holding talks with the legal department and the advocate general and also legal experts on what measures can be done to ensure that uh, the population could be reduced because uh, there has been studies that's been conducted and it has been found out that the population is increasing but the mean the same time there are habitual issues you know especially in the fringe forest uh, there are climatic changes that has led to these wild animals sprawling into human settlement area causing huge uh, you know uh, concerns for the people living in the fringe uh, forest regions Right, Vivek, thank you very much for joining us on the broadcast and getting us details about the incident, but also talking to us on the front of what they plan to do further in terms of averting such incidents.